Is that what you want to be when you're, you get older, an actor? Um, yeah, so much fun. Child stars don't grow up the normal way. They are introduced to pressures that kids probably shouldn't have to deal with. What have you learned about life? Very naughty things. They need to learn lines, interact on film and TV sets, do press, and of course, still do their schoolwork. What, you want to learn something? Yes, I do. While some child stars end up going off the rails when they're older, others are strong enough to survive, whether they stay in the industry or get out of it. Now that they're all grown up, let's take a look at the top 10 child celebs you would never recognize today. Who are you? Macaulay Culkin is making a comeback. Yeah, I live the dream. Uh, yeah. <laughs> After rising to fame playing Kevin in the Home Alone movies, I made my family disappear. Macaulay Culkin grew up and then went through a gaunt and pale phase that had a lot of people very worried. Rumors of substance abuse plagued the actor, who denied that he was abusing drugs. In 2017, Macaulay started to change again. His face and body filled out out, and he seemed to radiate good health. You're remarkably normal. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Seeing him look so good made his longtime fans really happy. His recent Instagram pics show a well-groomed young man in a button-down shirt rather than a guy with lank, greasy hair and a grunge flannel shirt. Now in his late 30s, Macaulay has ditched the slacker look, hopefully once and for all. Maybe the drama that Macaulay experienced as a child actor led him to stop caring about his wardrobe and appearance during young adulthood. He was already a Hollywood sensation by age 12, when he had a handful of massive movie hits under his belt. By age 14, he wanted to be legally free of his mom and dad, who'd been attempting to get their hands on his multi-million dollar bank account. What are the gold bars? Yeah, the diamonds. By age 17, Macaulay was a husband. By 19, he was separated from his wife. Let's not even get into the sleepovers at Neverland Ranch, which was the late Michael Jackson's dream home. Returning to acting may have inspired Macaulay to clean up his look. His next project is Changeland. It's currently in post-production, and this film co-stars Rachel Bloom and Seth Green. It's always the way my life has been kind of thing. Liking this video so far? Amazing! <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Taylor Momsen likes an extreme look. This is how you how you you like to dress. Yes. I love it. When Taylor Momsen was cast as Cindy Lou Who in The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, you're the 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 Grinch. She was an innocent little girl with an angelic look and a great voice. Today, she's moved on from big budget Jim Carrey movies, Gossip Girl, and acting in general. The Taylor Momsen of today is all about rock and roll. You make me want she goes for a rock and roll look with strong goth overtones. Towards the end of Gossip Girl, fans could already see Taylor changing, but few could have predicted just how much Little Jenny would change. She's had critical and commercial success with her rock band, The Pretty Reckless, and her smoky eye makeup, edgy attitude, and fondness for black clothes and occasional nudity in music videos make her very different from another Gossip Girl alumni, the clean-cut and all-American Blake Lively. Taylor and Blake are both beautiful blondes but the comparison stops there. Taylor does her own thing, and she's just not interested in playing the Hollywood game anymore. She's a woman who tours a lot and then rests and recharges. She doesn't enjoy being asked about Gossip Girl. Keep this in mind if you run into her sometime. What about um, going back to Gossip Girl? Um, no, I'm, I'm done. Jonathan Lipnicki has a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. I just got my purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Was there ever a cuter movie kid than Jonathan Lipnicki and Jerry Maguire? He was adorable beyond belief. Today, he's all grown up. He's into martial arts and has earned a brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Instead of self-destructing on the Hollywood party circuit, he put his energy into positive things. Dude, I, I don't do drugs. See that? Martial arts builds discipline as well as fitness. Jonathan is now 26, and he says that Tom Cruise gives him advice about his career when he asks for it. In 2017, he sat down with Tom at Tom's home. And he gave me a lot of great advice. And talked to the megastar for an hour. Tom had plenty of time for Jonathan. It's great that Tom treated him well during the filming of Jerry Maguire and still treats him well today. When Tom looks at the ripped athlete in front of him, does he still see the cute little boy with glasses from Jerry Maguire who melted his sports agent character's heart? Kid's amazing. Maybe, but the rest of us see someone who looks completely different. Right now, Lipnicki is honing his MMA skills, but isn't sure about fighting professionally. He gives back to others by acting as a spokesperson for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation and through involvement with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and other worthy charities. He's also an animal rights activist. If you remember Jonathan from Jerry Maguire and his other film projects, such as Stuart Little, you'll be pleased to know that he's doing just fine. He's definitely not a Hollywood casualty. I know I can 
can get better because I know something now that I never knew before. Kiernan Shipka has really bloomed. At this point, I like, I should be sponsored. Kiernan Shipka was one heck of a child actress. Her performances on Mad Men were extremely memorable. If I take out the trash, will you tell me about the murder? She held her own with and stole many scenes from John Hamm and January Jones, who played her dysfunctional parents, Don and Betty Draper. When I think of child actresses with exceptional talent, Kiernan comes to mind immediately. She's like Emma Watson. She's someone with major skills and tons of star quality. These days, Kiernan isn't a little girl anymore. Oh, give me a break. 18's a, that is a good age. <laughs> Like Emma Watson, she's grown up to become a stylish and sophisticated woman who wears glam Oscar de la Renta frocks to award show after parties. You can now see Kiernan in her latest project. She's scored a plum role as teen witch Sabrina Spellman in a new Netflix show called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Maybe, possibly, postpone my baptism a little bit. This Sabrina won't be like Sabrina the Teen Witch with Melissa Joan Hart. The new Sabrina is rumored to be way darker. It's got edgier elements which are going to make it unique. There will still be a talking cat though. Kiernan is 18 now. Her birthday is November 10th, so she'll be 19 shortly after Sabrina launches. If this show is a big hit, Kiernan's reputation as a top-notch actress will grow even stronger. She's the type of thespian who may just get an Oscar someday. Well, you nailed yeah. it. Thank you. Jake Thomas played Liz Lizzie McGuire's younger brother. Why can't you just stay out of my stuff and quit invading my privacy? If you were a big Lizzie McGuire fan, you'll be amazed to see how mature Lizzie's annoying little brother is in 2018. As you may well already know, his name is Jake Thomas, and he looks a lot different nowadays. Like the other child actors on our list, he's grown up and changed so much. Jake now lives in Los Angeles, and according to his Instagram account, he does acting, photography, and directing for a living. I, I do a lot of photography work now on the side. Jake is another LA transplant who came from Knoxville, Tennessee. His parents got him into television commercials when he was a child. His dad had his own radio show and his mother had her own TV show, so show business is definitely in his blood. Jake is now a handsome 28 year old man and he's doing photography campaigns for social media as well as appearing in and directing creative projects. He starred in the film Baja, which was released this April. In Baja, he plays a young guy on a road trip in Mexico who ends up kidnapping a prostitute by accident. Meanwhile, his Lizzie McGuire co-star Hilary Duff is expecting a baby girl with her partner Matthew Coma. Congrats yeah. as always on everything, Vegas! Thank you so much. Nick Carter isn't a kid anymore. Baby pictures, which I love. You're adorable. I know, it's like, what happened? Nick is still blonde, but he's not a kid anymore. He's 38 years old, if you can believe it. While he has hung on to his clean-cut look, his face is different. He's pushing 40, after all. Nick has occasionally lived a life that was anything but clean-cut. Nick struggled with addiction and said that he began to drink when he was just six years of age. Alcohol is, it's, it's a battle. His parents owned a bar, until they began taking care of a retirement home for a living instead. And this may be why Carter's awareness of alcohol started long before it should have. Before becoming a Backstreet Boy, he danced and sang in his hometown. His talent really stood out. He got to know a couple of other future Backstreet Boys at auditions, and he eventually joined forces with them. Five, six, seven, and eight. Being in a boy band is way more grueling than most people realize. It is hard work, and often, boy band members don't have a lot of control over their careers. They have to follow orders. The pressure of fame drove Nick to partying. His relationship with Paris Hilton didn't help. That's a perfect example of people that you choose to be around. Yeah. As he said that his desire to abuse alcohol and drugs got worse during that relationship. Today, he's married to a woman who cares about fitness and wellness, and his buddy, Kevin Richardson, has helped him to battle addiction by teaching him about positive thinking. Nick has appeared on Dancing with the Stars and made it to the finals. I'm just trying to have fun, you know, and that's who I am, I'm a fun guy. Jake Lloyd suffers from mental illness. I'm a person and my name is Anakin. Jake Lloyd starred as a young Anakin Skywalker and now suffers from schizophrenia. Of course, he doesn't look the same as he did as a child. No one does, except maybe Drew Barrymore, who is still recognizable as the little girl from E.T. <laughs> thanks to her full cheeks and smooth skin. Jake's mugshot from a 2015 arrest shows a young man with a tough expression and a cut under one eye. Most people would never know that the guy in the mugshot was once a big time Hollywood child actor. Jake has had troubles. He was arrested while driving in the state of South Carolina. The charges were resisting arrests, driving without a license, and reckless driving. <laughs> He 
landed in jail where he was given a psychiatric evaluation. The diagnosis was schizophrenia. After he was diagnosed, he was moved to a psychiatric facility. Jake is now 29. He had a few impressive roles before being chosen to play Anakin Skywalker. Now, he's given up on acting. Jake says that he got hassled at school because of his Star Wars role. He felt bullied due to his childhood acting career, and internet bullying was a massive issue too. Today, he doesn't have any Star Wars souvenirs. He gave all of his memorabilia away because his Anakin role set the stage for bullying problems in his life. Only 1% of people in the USA develop schizophrenia. This brain disorder is chronic and triggers hallucinations and delusions. We hope he's getting the treatment he needs. The biggest problem in this universe is nobody helps each other. Stephen Anthony Lawrence loves the EDM scene. Beans from Disney's Even Stevens. But Beans is all grown up now. Remember Beans from Even Stevens? If you enjoyed watching Even Stevens, which ran on the Disney Channel, you may already know that Beans was played by an actor named Stephen Anthony Lawrence. Today, Beans is 28 and barely recognizable as a former Disney child star. You've grown up. You promise never to grow up. Shia LaBeouf also appeared on Even Stevens before becoming hugely famous as the young Indiana Jones guy and the Transformers guy. Ah, okay, what do you want from me? These days, Stephen Anthony Lawrence is still acting, but he feels forever typecast as Beans, who was known for his love of bacon and his insufferable personality. Aside from Even Stevens, he's appeared on ER, in addition to Cheaper by the Dozen, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. In February, he posted about appearing in a music video with Lil Peep and Marshmallow. You'll find Lawrence at plenty of hot music festivals and clubs. He seems to be enjoying life and is always grateful to his fans. Look him up on Instagram if you want to follow his life nowadays. People nowadays are so focused focus on tomorrow and they don't live in the moment. Haley Joel Osment gained a little weight. Are you all right? Good, yeah, doing well. You yeah. look, I like your Wayne Thank suit. Thank you. Haley Joel Osment's character Cole in the Bruce Willis movie hit The Sixth Sense was famous for seeing dead people. I see dead people. That thought-provoking film was fascinating and had a big impact on popular culture. In 2017, Osment was the subject of a Radar Online story which focused on his weight gain. It's not really nice when people get body shamed online, but it happens every day, and celebrities are always targets for this type of criticism. Yes, Haley gained a little weight, but he's not a child anymore. He grew up and he filled out. His weight gain does make him look very different from Cole in The Sixth Sense. So, what's Haley up to these days? Well, he ran into some bad luck in 2016 when he was in a car accident. He hit a mailbox while driving under the influence. The car flipped over and he broke a rib and fractured his shoulder. <laughs> He was 18 and new to driving. He took responsibility for his actions, followed the court's guidelines, and went to plenty of AA meetings. Then he decided to study acting in New York. Following his post-secondary education, he landed a role on Broadway. <laughs> this is the man who saw dead people. He knows. <laughs> Edward Furlong has been arrested more than once. I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Edward Furlong rose to fame as the Terminator's fresh-faced sidekick. These days, he doesn't look quite so fresh. He's had troubles, like a lot of former child stars. According to TMZ, he was arrested for the third time in 2013 because he didn't adhere to the terms of a restraining order. He ended up having a verbal fight with his ex-girlfriend and the law got involved. Apparently, Furlong's ex called the cops and let them know that Edward had shown up at her home in West Hollywood. He was hiding when the police arrived. He was found beneath a stairwell. During his first two arrests, he was charged with violence against the same ex-girlfriend. In court, Edward looked so tired and much older. Court doesn't bring out the best in anyone, but he looked rough. Overruled. <laughs> what it is, man. Sometimes early fame and fortune sets the stage for problems later on. Edward never really wanted to be a child actor until a casting agent approached him because the casting agent was looking for a kid to play the part of John Connor in Terminator 2. The agent saw something in Edward and he did get the coveted role. Maybe it would have been better if he hadn't. Some kids can handle early stardom. Others can't make a smooth transition from being child stars to being stable adults. And if you want to shine them on, it. Hasta la vista, baby. No matter what, we'll always be here for you. You're not alone. So hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And don't go anywhere. Stay right here and click on another one of our great videos.